Hello, everybody. Today we will be solving problem nine of the 2018 Amy 2. The problem reads octagon A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H with side lengths A, B equals C, D equals E, F equals G, H equals 10 and B, C equals D, E equals F, G equals H, A is equal to 11. Is formed by removing six, eight, 10 triangles from the corners of a 23 by 27 rectangle with side A, H on a short side of the rectangle as shown. Let J be the midpoint of AH and partition the octagon into seven triangles by drawing segments JB, JC, JD, JE, JF, and JG. Find the area of the convex polygon whose vertices are the centroids of these seven triangles. Okay, so I've gone ahead and drawn this diagram, but I've also added a lot of stuff. First of all, I've added the segments connecting JB, JC, JD, JE, JF, and JG. However, I've also added the segments joining J to the midpoints of the other seven sides of this octagon. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to claim that <coughs> the area of these, this, um, the area of this polygon with the centroids as the vertices is four ninths times the area of the polygon formed by these midpoints. And here's why. Okay, so. Let's imagine you have this heptagon because it's it's got seven vertices. Say you have this heptagon and take a look at this heptagon over here. I'm going to claim that these two heptagons are actually similar to each other. And the reason is because by properties of centroids, um, this, this, this centroid G1 is um, defined to be the intersection of the midpoints of this triangle A, B, J, right? Meaning J, G1, and M1 are collinear. And not only that, but by properties of medians, um, J, G1 to J, M1 is equal to is the ratio two to three. And the reason this is the case is because if you have, if you have the three medians and they intersect at the centroid over here, we would have that, let's say that this triangle is A, B, C. Um, the midpoints are D, E, and F. And then the centroid is G. We have that the area of this triangle, A, F, G, and the area of this triangle, B, F, G, are equal to each other. And why is that the case? Because they both share the same base length, which is A, F is equal to G, F. They also both share the same altitude and base times altitude divided by two is the area. Anyway, this orange area is equal to this pink area and you can also prove that it's equal to this green area over here. It's also equal to this red area over here, which is equal to this blue area over here which is also finally equal to this brown area over here. So all six of these areas are equal to each other. And therefore, if you take a look at this triangle over here, which I've outlined in brown, and this triangle, which I will outline in pink, the ratio of this triangle to this triangle is, well, since they share the same altitude, the altitude is C to AD. The ratio of these two areas is um, AG times the altitude over two divided by DG times the altitude divided by two. And remember the altitude is just the distance from C to AD. This is equal to AG over DG. But since these two small triangles make up twice the area of this small triangle, AG over DG is, the, ra the ratio of the areas is two to one. So AG is twice DG, and therefore the median splits into a two to one ratio. So 
JG1 to JM1 is two to three. And similarly, JG2 over M, JM2 is also two to three. And what that means is you can take a homothety with centered at point J with ratio three over two. This sends G1 to M1, sends G2 to M2, it sends G3 to M3, G4 to M4, G5 to M5, G6 to M6, and G7 to M7, because the ratio of all of these side lengths are two to three respectively. Right, so the ratio of the, the rate homosity ratio is three over two, which means that the ratio of the areas is that squared. So M1, M2, M3, M4, M5, M6, M7 over the area G1, G2, G3, G4, G5, G6, G7 is equal to nine over four. What this means is we simply have to find the area of the polygon that is composed of all seven of these midpoints and that over this is equal to nine over four. So let's go ahead and find the area of the heptagon formed by the midpoints. And how can we do that? We can use our best friend, which is called complementary area, finding the area of this big rectangle and subtracting out all the parts we don't want. First of all, this, these four triangles over here have legs six and eight, which means that the area of this, one of these triangles is six times eight divided by two, which is 24. So these four triangles each have area 24. Now we need to find the area of this triangle over here which we can calculate since this is six and um, we have DE is equal to 11. We have this base over here is 11 over two. This height over here, the height of the, this triangle is, well, since this is the midpoint, this is half of that since this triangle is similar to this triangle. And so since this is eight, this height over here is four, which means the area of this triangle over here is 11 over two times four divided by two, which is 11. And similarly, this area is 11 as well. Now we need to find the area, this area, right? And that's also not hard because this length is six. This length over here is half of six, which is three. And this space over here, since BC is equal to 11, this space is 11 over two. So the area of this triangle is base times height over two, 11 over two times three times one half, which is 33 over four. So this region is 33 over four. This region similarly has area 33 over four. This region has area 33 over four and this region has area 33 over four. Finally, we can find the area of this, um, this trapezoid over here, which has height, once again, this height is four, right? This height is four. And this base over here is half of BC, I mean, no. It's not half of BC. It's the it's the um, average of AH and BC, and that's because since M is the midpoint, essentially, um, if you have if you take the trapezoid ABGH, M1 M7 is the median of this trapezoid, which means it has length that's the average of the other two bases, and length BG is 23, and AH we know to be 11. So M, M1, M7 is the average of that, which is 17. Finally, the area of this trapezoid is um, the average of the bases times the height. 
this is equal to 56. So the combined area of all the stuff we're taking away is the sum of all this stuff, which we can calculate. These four sum up to 96, these two to 22, these four sum up to 33, and we have to add 56. So we, when we add up all of this area, we end up with, well, 118 plus 150, 151, 207. We end up with 207. So the area of M1, M2, M3, M4, M5, M6, M7 is the area of the big rectangle minus 207. The area of the big rectangle is 23 times 27, which is equal to 621. So they so so this this area is 621 minus 207, which is equal to 414. So 414 over this thing is nine over four, meaning if you if you um, solve for this, you get that it's equal to four over nine times 414, which if you do some simplification, you get four times 46, which is equal to 184. This is the area of the heptagon whose vertices are the centroids. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.